Greetings, everyone. Fru here. Welcome to the Demo Hub. In today's demo, we're going to spend some time talking about installing the Snowflake Visual Studio Code extension, and leveraging that extension to connect to Snowflake for your data analytics work. Now, this will be an interesting demo because not only are we going to show you how to get the extension installed, which is pretty straightforward, pretty trivial to do, but we're also going to spice it up to showcasing how to set it up to use a configuration file you might have set up already working with Snow SQL. Now, what is Snow SQL? We've recently done a demo on Snow SQL. As part of that setup, we showcase how you can set up a config file. So when you come into the command line and you're trying to authenticate with Snow SQL, all you have to do is simply point to connection Snow SQL. Let's actually go in and, and do that here really quick. All you have to do from the command line is something to the effect of Snow SQL dash connection, and you can specify your uh, connections. Maybe your connection is say demo hub, and just like that, this will authenticate to Snow SQL for you leveraging the connection you've set up in a config file. So really, really powerful, very flexible to have, and it's really important to, to grasp this. Now, if you've set this up for Snow SQL and you come over, and are taking advantage of the Visual Studio Code, let's actually jump into installing the, the extension. So this is a brand new uh, Visual Studio Code experience here. Snowflake Visual Studio Code extension hasn't been installed. If you're going to install it for the very first time, let's close this. What you're going to want to do is come over to extensions, search for Snowflake, and the extension should show up. The way you know that this is from Snowflake is you want to make sure you have the verified check mark from Snowflake. The version is version 1.1.3 as of making this video. There are some other extensions here, but you want to check the official extension from Snowflake. Now, that extension has been installed pretty quick. You can always come into this extension, go ahead and put in your URL, your account, locator, your account information, and authenticate. So come in here. If we go back over to my uh, Snowflake instance, Click on this, grab the account uh, URL, and go back over here. Paste that and continue. This would uh, give you an option to authenticate. That's one way to do it. But another way, which is really good, and hopefully you're taking advantage of this, if you have um, Visual Studio Code installed and you want to take advantage of Snow SQL configuration, is let's go back here. Let me add a new account. And in this case, I'm going to use the Snow SQL config. You don't have to manually do this. This is going to point to the Snow SQL config path where you have the Snow SQL. It will read, it will read the configurations that you have uh, installed. Let's go back here. So in here I do have, and this is just a demo. This is not my actual configuration. But if you have a connection, say example, let's assume that this was a demo hub as one. It will read, it will read this. Let's say you have a dev, it will read this. If you are unsure where the path is, click on this. This will open up a browser to show us uh, where the path is, depending on, on your system. For me, I don't know it's in going to the root and then coming to that Snow SQL config. This is the path I want. So copy that and paste that in there. After pasting that, you will notice it does fill in my uh, username, the password. It reads that configuration. And here it does tell you, only the configuration values will be loaded, other configurations are not. In the previous demo, we didn't mention how important it is to keep your config file secure because the password in there is in plain text. So you really want to be careful about uh, who you have access or who you grant access to that. And definitely, definitely you do not want to version control that. So in here we do, we're coming in and now I can sign in. Just like that, we are authenticated into the Snowflake UI. The reason why this is really cool is now I have one location to change my configuration. From there, everything else should be good. Now, if you had multiple connections uh, set up in your configuration, which in most cases folks would do, in the drop down, you also see the different connections uh, showing up and you can always toggle, say from your dev environment to your production environment, your stage, your QA, your UAT, uh, depending on how you have that uh, configured. The easy way, again, is to go in here in the Edit Snowflake uh, Snow SQL config, and you can always edit those configurations easily. And those will affect both your Visual Studio Code extension as well as Snow SQL 
where you might have this configuration also being used. This quick tutorial shows us that uh, it's really possible to take advantage of config set up for Snow SQL to leverage and to make your experience with uh, the Snowflake uh, Visual Studio Code extension even more uh, simpler and appealing. So hopefully this was helpful to you as always. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section below and we'll see what we can do. Thanks for watching. This has been Fru, your host with Demo Hub. I'll see you in the next demo. Thank <laughs> you.